Oh, yeah. Can't do it. It's right. I'll, I'll, can't I'll, do it. Okay. Fucking hell. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi, guys. Um, it's lovely to see you for the second the second visit to the Art and Olfaction Awards. Yes. Um, 2023. 2023. Uh, what is there to say? We're on, we're on a journey of discovery, and I think hopefully this time, like last time, we'll pick out some delights. Hopefully. Um, Maybe some winners, we don't know. So we've, we've moved, uh, we're now on our first of the independent, independent. Uh, category. So a house, a perfume I had heard of, Andreas Wilhelm, I heard of him, but a, a, a brand I'd not heard of, uh, uh, Père Noir. No, so it, it's a Swiss company with a French name. I'm mean, just trying to say, is it like through black? Yeah. Does, does it mean Père Noir through black? The bottles are all quite black and, and solid looking. Um, established by two um, uh, childhood Swiss friends in 2020. So as, nice. we, as we said in our introduction, I, you know, I wonder if it's another company that's sort of born out of lockdown, like born out of people like wanting to change their, yeah. their, their direction to the way they're doing things. So um, Andreas Wilhelm is actually nominated twice um, um, for, 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 for uh, uh, these awards. He's also, there's also one from Board Studios, uh, Fuchsroth, um, which I've ordered a sample of, so that's in the way. Mm. Uh, this, this, this sample is one I did, I could source from within the UK because they sell it in Les Hauteur. So I bought, I bought us that's a little handy, sample here. Um, if you've not seen these videos before, um, I um, have uh, worn the sample a couple of times on skin. So I've got, I've got some, some notes of my wearings. Joe has not worn it at all um, before. So you're gonna get his first impressions. Um, I, I'm not going to show him the notes list or anything, so he, you're just going to get his blind guesses, and then I can talk to you a little bit more about the, the, the dry down. And Is this one for skin as well, do you think? Um, uh, it's quite quite a big one, so I think I think you will get quite a lot of it on card. I mean, yeah. I, I have already worn it on skin, so I can talk about how it wears on skin, um, but I think, uh, yeah, let, let, let's, let's, let's hit it. Thank you very much. So, Mansa Musa was the ruler of the Mali Empire in the 13th century. During his reign, Mali was one of the richest kingdoms in Africa, and Mansa Musa was amongst the richest individuals in the world. So this is richness and wealth. It is the olfactory metaphor of wealth and generosity. So, First impression. I'm not getting what's underneath because I'm getting a big blast of spice. I'm getting, I think I'm getting saffrony, pink peppery yeah, vibes. Pepper. I also got, I mean, I got quite a big woody amber burst with that, you know, and it was bright. I got this There's bright- stuff lurking behind. I got this bright, I definitely got the you know the pepper and saffron no 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 question but I just felt there was a there's a bit of a synthetic blast especially when I, I put it on skin I didn't really like the first spray of this can I put this on my hand yes I, oh I mean absolutely I, I, yeah, feel yeah, the, yeah. I feel the card isn't going to help me here because yeah, yeah. I think I need to warm it up by the temperature of my hand though yeah I do I do sort of like it already I'm getting stuff behind it that's intriguing there's I'm, there I'm is some back, quite back, intriguing back. Stuff going on. Oh, so, yeah, I get so much more detail in there. Yeah. So much yeah, more detail. Yeah, okay. you, uh, you, always, you always will. But it's interesting. I, there, there's, um, there's, there's, there's this bright blast, slight woody amber synthetic blast, and then this kind of um, incense black pepper and, yeah. and saffron, um, or pink pepper, maybe. But, um, but then you start to get this interesting kind of PVC rubbery um inky I'm I'm getting like yeah the inky I can definitely relate to I I feel like it's sort of inky iris or something I think I under, I understand or buttery inky butter. yeah I, I think buttery inky it isn't it's buttery and inky I can say where you would say iris because we often think of like iris butter and inkiness of butter but I don't think it will actually take you as far as Iris, but I definitely get inky. Oh, I tell you what, I have to say that's one of the fastest turnarounds of first <laughs> impression to like being intrigued. The, I have to say the very, very first impression I got 
I thought, oh, I don't like this. No. It's going to be like a big pepper incense mm. iso super type mm. thing. And already on skin, it's I'm getting on. a lot more going yeah. on. Yeah. It, 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 it definitely goes into this... That, oh, that's intriguing. A couple of fragrances sprang to my mind. One was Mortal Skin by Stefan Amper Lucas. I don't know if you actually smelled that, which is this, I have, this, yeah. this deep, dark, troubling, inky. We've got the remnants of something here, mm. of hers. No, that's DSH, oh, no. not SHL. Sure. <laughs> um, but oh, that's, that's good. but there's there's something quite dark and troubling, isn't there? Yeah, it's unsettling. It's it's unsettling. It's kind of animalic, but then too clean as well. It's like a it's like a robot and a human making. Well, love. that's. I think there's. So I, I mean, I having worn this, I will say this is extraordinarily long lasting, and quite big on imagine. skin. So it's about like you know sixteen hours, and it's. And you only get that, you know, with a woody amber doing a lot of heavy lifting. Yeah. And I think, but, but, but those woody ambers, and what they do, they give it a feeling of space and lightness. Yeah. Even though there's a feeling of darkness, almost wet, inkiness. It's quite legible as well. Yes, I guess, it's, but it's I think it gives a feeling of space. Yeah. Which I, I think gives you, you know, it's got that, it feels modern. Because some woody ambers I can't smell and I just, I get hit between the eyes yeah. and I, I tune out. This... I don't think that's happening. I mean, also, I mean, just to, uh, to, to summarise, you know, there, there, are, there are a few of the notes this, but there is saffron rose oud. And this does not smell like a saffron rose oud. No. No, per se. It feels much brighter, cleaner. Not, well, clean is not the right word. But, the, but there's, there's a feeling of space and light. A little, little tiny hint of sweetness, but just not and a little bit, But it never goes... There's, there's a, also a weird fruitiness. The other fragrance yeah. I, I, I was reminded of, which not everyone might know, it was Floem by Jorum Studios, which was this weird, like, black... Remember we... And it was this weird, like, blackberry, but also inky stone... I forgot, like, I need to go back and smell And I get again. this inky stone quality to this. I've written, bit unsettling, but also quite beautiful. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Synthetic blast, but also quite smooth. But very, yeah, it's very round now, from that initial blast, which I thought, oh... Uh, hmm. Not sure for me. This is now really beautifully round and elegant. I mean, it, it feels it's one bit, of the biggest U-turns, I think. I've, one of the quickest U-turns I've ever done. It's also, from it, it feels a bit um, kind of almost anti-perfume. I know like there are, there are notes listed, um, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't smell very natural at all to me. It smells very, you know, like a, it's a weird, it smells almost all synthetic that it's, creating this kind of synthetic picture. But not bad, not in a bad way, it's just, it, it, you, uh, for me it smells like someone has created something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather sure. than something yeah. having, and having occurred naturally. Uh, and being synthetic and smelling synthetic is uh, are not the same thing. No. It could be very natural, but I do think it smells quite, it smells quite abstract. Yeah. It doesn't smell like a bunch of flowers or oud. It doesn't smell like saffron rose oud. No, it's, it, does, it does smell like something put together it's it's very modern. It definitely feels modern. Um, I mean, I, I I will say, I mean, it's you really completely agree, uh, disagree, but I, I for me, as I wore it on skin, I just found that the, uh, the kind of the, the woody amber became a, a little bit too dominant, and it's especially towards the kind of kind of dry down, as you would expect maybe with a woody amber. That that, that that's the thing which lasts. The, the first six hours or so is more interesting. It also around about the one hour in, it starts to go quite floral. So you're not obviously you're not gonna get this yeah. now testing on video. But but not in just a rose way. There was just some other floral complexity which I was not expecting from the start, which almost feels like not space age, but it feels abstract. You it felt like it was going to be more about spice and, yeah. and colours than yeah. floors. I have to say, I think just from the little, I'm getting little tiny hints of like a chocolatey, soily thing. And I wonder if this is a very, very modern, very well disguised patchouli fragrance. Well, there's, it, de it definitely is patchouli, -y, patchouli, -y, but I. I Oh, I don't think it ever becomes an out and out. Um, but I, no, exactly. I think it's hiding away. But I think. Yeah. I think that's the thing that's holding this whole thing together. Yeah. I mean, it definitely. Yeah. Some, somehow, it's yeah. the thing that my nose keeps going to when I smell it. That mm. that little chocolatey sort, damp, slightly mm. damp soil thing. It's weird, isn't it? The, the description: thirteenth-century luxury, 
that's that, I don't get that at all. I don't get you know. If, if you say thirteenth century luxury and you see saffron rose oud, you expect to be you know transported to the Middle East, and that's not. Yeah. I don't get that at all. Yeah, I, I have to say, I don't get the connection. I'm sure that, you know, I'm sure the perfumer, what's his, what was his name? Andreas Wilhelm. I'm sure he has, he has a vision and he has that in his mind. I, I do like it, I have to say, I like it. And I didn't think I was going to, and I really do. Yeah, fair enough. I, mean, I find it quite addictive. So I'll just, I'll just talk through some of my, um, as, as, as it kind of developed. Two hours in, I felt there was this indolic kind of sweetness which crept in and it went a little bit more ambered. Four hours in, so two hours later, that kind of indolic sweetness came away and it became more about this smouldering resinous, a little bit of patchouli, but the, the dry amber, the dry woody amber started to kind of nilimbanoli kind of facets started to take over. Yeah. And by six hours, I really felt we were firmly into out and out um, woody amber. And I felt that then lasted, you know, you can see my notes, from 12 hours to 14 hours. Mm -hmm. I felt it was really kind of nolimbanoli, dry, woody amber, um, which lasted for a long time. But what, what was the quality of that long lasting? Was it still exciting you all those hours? Not really. I mean, it actually, the other thing it reminded me of a lot, I don't know if I mentioned it there, was that Caravanserai, which is the new release by oh, Nikolai Nikolai. Parfums, which um, is this... Well, on, on, on paper, it's, it's, written, it's described as this cardamom coffee thing, but actually I felt on skin was quite woody amber. And again, was very, 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 like the performance was very big, very, very long lasting. The, the dry down to this, I felt was similar to that. Ah. Um, interesting. I, I yeah, I, there, I think there's some interesting things going on. Personally, having worn it a couple of times, overall, I didn't like it. I felt there was too much emphasis on this woody amber and too much emphasis on the performance. I don't really want, you know, if, if for me, if a fragrance lasts that long, there's something doing too much work, which, which I don't like. Yeah, a sort of and, and, worrying and I, persistence. And I felt like, you know, just for, for me, worrying a couple of times, it became a little bit obnoxious and, and after a few hours, it just became a bit generic. I think at this stage, it is quite interesting. I love this stage. Mm. I think that I'm, I'm sort of trying to pick things out all the time and I'm, I'm enjoying this stage. Yeah. But of I, course, I've had it on for five minutes. Yeah, I, at, this, at, this, at this stage, it just feels kind of, it feels uh, original and novel. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't get the relation to the brief. To, to, to no, the description. No. The other thing to say about this is this is quite expensive. It's 195 pounds for 50 mil. That's a, that, that's a lot of but money. But that is X-ray, though, isn't it? It, it is X-ray. I, I mean, I suppose it is mega long lasting. Um, I can, I can, I mean, just on this, I can see this appealing to people. I can, I can see it being I can see very, being, very popular. Doing well. You know, having smelt like some of their recent amouages. Um, you know, this is. I'm just. I'm so surprised by the U-turn. That, yeah. that, that all that big pink peppery saffron has already disappeared for me, and it's gone somewhere else. It's, I don't know what that was about. Dark, wet, inky patchouli. Yeah. You don't really get ooh though, do you? No. As opposed to you know the last fragrance we, we talked about, which was a kind of a natural oud. This feels like a completely different world. It's much more of a woody amber oud. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be very interested mm. to see how this develops on on me in the next few hours. Interesting. It's, I mean, it's well put together. Yeah, it's, it's definitely well some well real skill here. I mean, yeah. And so Andreas Philham is a um, you know, quite a, uh, a prolific uh, uh, perfumer. Un unquestionably, it's good. I, I wonder also about 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 the price. Why why is it two hundred dollars? I know it's an X-ray, but uh, as I said, it doesn't. I don't really get many naturals at all. I, I would be hugely surprised if it's a real oud in there. I would be hugely surprised if there's real rose in there. I don't know what justifies the price. Yeah, I mean, I never know. I'm increasingly people. cynical about about high kind of things demanding this price. I mean, I quite, I quite, I, mm, I don't know if I, no, I definitely don't hate it. Personally, I don't like it. Yeah. You like it, that's fine. We can have different opinions. But, uh, you know, there's time to go as well. I, I'm just mm. smelling the first five minutes and I like the U-turn more than anything else. Yeah. I, like the, I like the direction it went in after I thought it was something else. It's definitely not boring. It's definitely not boring. No, no, no. Um, certainly for the first couple of hours, it's definitely we'll not see. boring. Well, maybe we'll report back to you about yeah. this in yeah. a few hours, I don't know. Anyway, if you've tried it, 
Let us know. Yes. Until next time. Ciao. Happy sniffing.